Okay, here we have a prism. Prisms have the same cross-sectional area throughout them. This is called a quadrilateral prism, a cube, the most basic one, hexagonal prism, pentagonal prism, a right trapezial prism, a triangular prism, a trapezoidal prism, a parallelepiped, a rhombic prism, isosceles triangular prism, a right triangular prism, and a quadrilateral prism. Now, if we look at this prism here, we can see that it has the same cross-sectional area throughout, i.e. a right-angled triangle, and we can open it up and get its net. So in order to find the surface area, we need to calculate the area of each of those shapes in the in the diagram. So we need to find the area of the two triangles, and those two triangles will be of the same length. And then the area of this one, the area of that one, and the area of that shape there. And provided we've got all the dimensions, these are just three rect uh, rectangles, different dimensions, and we know how to find the area of a triangle. And then all we do at the end is that we add together all the areas.